Yes, I know it's not a 7.3. Yes, I know it's a six liter. I got what I could afford. And you know, one of the things that I'll tell you, um, Orion from Hagger Garage is right. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. This is Dash, and I did a thing. <laughs> oh man, so, let's talk about this. <laughs> All right, so I'm super duper excited, you know. This is a 2000, sorry, let me get the camera situated. This is a 2006 E250 long body, extended, I don't know. It's, it's the big one. So we have some room right here for passengers and then still another eight feet back there. So, uh, oh, and if I didn't tell you, it's a six liter diesel. You guys know how I love my diesels. All right, so just a quick walk around. It uh, has 153,490 miles on it. And she needs some work. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm Obviously, you guys know how I do. Uh, see if that helps any. Not much. You guys know how I do. Everything's a project and or a tool. This is going to be um, a, a tool for my business. Uh, you know, I'm hoping to be able to use this to, for catering events and things like that, as well as in use in conjunction with, uh, you know, helping folks move things, tow things, haul things. I've been wanting a tow pig, and um, now I got one. Definitely got one. Uh, she is a little, she's clean, it's a clean truck, but she's a little rough around the edges. She definitely does need some work. Um, like, one of the first orders of business is probably going to be getting new batteries. The, um, the batteries, uh, I just think the van has been sitting and the batteries are kind of old. So, that being said, that's probably going to be one of the first things I'll need to replace. In the state of Maryland, you can register a vehicle without having it inspected. You have 30 days though to get it inspected. So with that being said, there probably are going to be a influx of six liter repair and maintenance videos. I haven't quite figured out what I want to do as far as if I want to, at this point, I have to get the, the, the van inspected, staying inspected. Once it gets inspected, then I can pretty much go from there and determine the course of action. I need to do two things. First thing is get it inspected. Whatever in the inspection leads me to uh, need, obviously I'm gonna need to get those things taken care of as priority. The second thing is I wanna take it somewhere so they can just do a you know a straight, not an overhaul, but just to, to go around and you know check and inspect everything um, so that I can find out or have a list of things that I need to repair and work on and start working on them. You know, I, I'm not planning or trying to do any sort of like, um, any ridiculous, like crazy performance on this. This is strictly, I'm trying to keep it as stock as possible, as reliable as possible. And you know, I want it to be turnkey. I get in it, I turn the key, I turn it on, I can drive across country. That's what I want it to be. Um, at this point it has, and actually, let me walk you around it. Unfortunately, it is kind of a rainy day today. Oh, the clitter clatter of that six liter. All right, so here's the driver's side and there's some little bit of body damage there. A little bit here in the tail, a little bit of body damage. Full on tow package and wiring. 
done already. And here we have the back. And I haven't, I haven't measured this, but I do believe it is almost eight feet. If it's not eight feet, it's almost. So I can fit full sheets of plywood in here if necessary. You know, from here to there. There's that utility cage up in there. Um, and the like ladder racks or roof racks or whatever, they came with it, they took them off the van, but I can easily put them back on if I need to. I don't need to at the moment. So, double doors in the back. Let's lock that back. Come around. There's a little bit of scratches there. But all in all, she looks pretty good. Passenger side. You know, not too many, not too many creature comforts in here. <laughs> Roll up windows, that's gonna be new. <laughs> we have a tape player. Oh man. But one of the things that I was actually kind of excited about is this. No power went no power locks either. That needs to be WD-40. But this right here. This is cool to me. Because I'll be able to fit not only myself, my wife, but my three kids can get in here. And still have room to tow anything else or haul anything else in the back of here or tow anything else. I'm pretty sure, I haven't looked up the tow rating, but I know it's at least 10 grand. I have to check out to see what the specific rear end is, and that's gonna help determine the max payload, uh, or tow max, load, max towing capacity. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Because I'm excited. I hope, I hope, I hope you guys like diesel content because six liters six liter videos are coming can you can you see the excitement because I, I don't think you guys understand how excited i am that i got this thing i got it i got a really good deal on it such a good deal that i'm i know i'm gonna have to put some money into it um at this point uh I'm looking forward to it. It'll be content for my YouTube channel. And hopefully, if I can fix something or find out how to fix something, I'm hoping that that video might be able to help someone else that gets one of these in the future or has one currently. So, I think that's about it. Again, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Come on back for more six liter videos. Oh man, I'm excited. Yes, I know it's not a 7.3. Yes, I know it's a six liter. I got what I could afford. And you know, one of the things that I'll tell you, um, Orion from Hagger Garage is right. Orion said basically, and you know, me personally, again, I was looking for a tow rig. I have all of the benefits of having a diesel truck and the towing capacity with, it was a quarter a quarter of what I would have spent on a pickup truck of the same gear and similar mileage. Might even have been less. The, a diesel pickup truck, a 250 or a 350 with, um, you know, like a tradesman with similar, you know, features and uh, 150,000 miles for an 06, probably would have been 15 grand. Especially even with the six liter, I got this for a steal. Again, a quarter of that price you do the math maybe one day i'll talk about exactly how much i spend on this but the benefit the major benefit to this is i can store stuff in the back and or if i go on a long trip and don't have the money to spend in uh, to stay in the hotel i can rig up a cot or a sleeping bag and sleep in the back of this thing so again orion was right orion if you ever see this video you sir are the reason why I bought this because you made a lot of valid points in your video talking about a, a tow vehicle and or 
what to use as a tow vehicle. It clicked and made a lot of sense. I searched Craigslist and I found this thing here. So, like I said, Orion, if you see this, thank you. But if you don't, if you don't know who Orion is, Orion again is from Hagger Garage. Um, definitely check out their channel. They do a lot of drifting and other, you know, Haggard repairs. But they're getting out of that, but that's cool. Anyway, thank you guys as always for watching. Like I said, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And I'll see you. See you soon.